hello friends so welcome back to java tech guides so in this video we are going to discuss about spring boot folder structuring so so what all are present in a spring boot application we are going to discuss about it so let uh, so um, so let me um, um let me give an example of a project right spring boot uh, demo application let's say we have created a project under that we will have two uh one folder and one file the src folder so this the this is that uh that this directory will have all our java codes and uh, resources for your project so this is the main uh, source of folder for our application which will have all our java source code source codes and uh, resources like uh, js file and uh, jsp files and uh, configuration files and the pom.xml file so this is related to marvin so it's it's the project model project object model file which will um, which uh, will contain all the project dependencies and the configurations now coming to the src folder so uh, this is the crucial part of your spring boot application it will uh, it will have the following structures let's say uh, so so the src would be the root folder for our java source codes and uh, configuration files so under src will have two folders that is the main folder and uh, one is the resources folder so the main folder will have um, the main source codes uh, uh, for our applications uh, that that is the java source codes so it will it should reside under the main so uh, eventually it will uh, so uh, eventually the main um, the main is uh, will have one more uh, folder under it so that is the java so in inside java we have to create our uh, uh, java uh, java source codes and we have to keep it here so and uh, and under the resource resources right so resources folder will have uh, will have files related to um, configuration and other resources so the resources uh, folder will um, again have two subfolders that is the static and uh, temp static for sub folder and the uh, templates folder the static folder will will contain all static files like uh, js file css files so which is a uh, uh, which will be used uh, used for your web application to uh, to enter uh, to make the web application more interactive and the template files is is uh, uh, <clears throat> a template for the templates folder is to keep the jsp files or the template files like time lapse or JS, jsp so which is used for, for to represent your data uh, from back from back end into the view so those those files will be um will be kept under the templates folder so um one more file is uh, is uh, present under resources that is the application that properties so i think you all are aware of that that application that properties this is the main proper main property file for our spring up but our spring boot application so it has to be uh, present here under the resources folder so in this property will will we can we can pass uh, uh, much more configurations to uh, to be used by the springs spring now under the java right so this under the java uh, under the java folder right under the java uh, we uh, as you know right uh, the java will contain all your all your uh, source codes but uh, let uh, can you can you think of that uh, can you think of that if you are working on a um, big project like uh, one uh, shopping site so it will have multiple modules right um, like uh, product management module uh, customer management module and uh, other management modules so every module should have a different folder or different structure right D different folder to be uh, um, that means to to segregate uh, uh, codes related to that model 
so under the java we have so the this is the naming uh, this is the convention most of the company are following that is the under the java they will create the com or the company name then under that we have uh, they, uh, they will create the module name so for our case let's say pms or uh, product uh, product management module something like that so this should be the model name next under the module we'll have again four um, folders that is the controller model uh, service and repositories so the controller is to keep all the uh, controllers related to the to that model and the model is to keep all the model uh, model files or model.java files right um, for your module on um, for your model under the model model uh, uh, model folder so similarly the services and the repositories so uh, so this is this is the segregation of your code um, of your code in, in a modular approach so that's all uh, for for um, this video and okay we'll we'll now we'll see um, see uh, we'll create a project and see how the structure is um, is uh, the uh, is given by the spring boot so let me let me uh, let okay let me create a folder from um, no, create a project from spring initializer so we have selected the myvane and uh, now the uh, group name and the artifact name and here the you have to select the one because we are talking about a uh, web application right so that's the reason we have to select the one so let me generate the project and here we have the project um, so this is the this is our project spring boot demo application so okay now under the demo up uh, that app under our project right demo application project so we'll have spring is the that is the src and the pom so we can see that this is the src folder and the pom folder let me go inside the src folder so under the src we will have a main folder and a test folder so i forgot to mention that test folder right so uh, this folder is related for the unit testing of your project so we'll talk about this later well while we're covering the unit test case unit test case for, for our application for that time i'll explain more about this uh, test so uh, for now as of now you can you can uh, uh, think of all the uh, codes related to your unit testing will be kept under the test folder and this is the main folder where we'll have to we'll have to keep our, all our java uh, source codes uh, for our project and under the main we'll have again uh, java and resources the java is to keep all the uh, all the java files and the resources for the resources now under the resources we'll have the static and the templates so the static is for uh, java that means the js and css files uh, so those for those static uh, um, static resource it uh, has to be kept it under the static folder and this is the template folders so under this folder we'll have to keep our jsps or timeless uh, templates here and the, this is the spring that uh, that application that properties so we have to uh, we'll have we'll, we can keep the, our configuration under this on inside this file uh, which is related to our spring boot application so that's all about this video um, so if you like the video please subscribe our channel